what's up? I'm Steve from Gailey's Marine in Bakersfield, California. Today we're going to do a walkthrough video on this 2018 Supra SA450. Let's step back and take a look and then we'll jump up inside the boat. Okay, so we'll start up here at the bow. You can obviously see we have a nice wide bow, kind of a pickle fork design. Um, one thing I like is we don't have a real long fork off the front end. So when we're in surf mode, you don't have that extra fiberglass sticking up in the driver's vision. It's a very deep bow, sits tall off the water, so it's very safe for kids. We got big grab handles in the front of the boat. We also added the bow ladder on the custom Boatmate trailer. The bow ladder just makes accessing the boat from the trailer very easy, especially for the little ones. The boats are a little bit tall these days, and uh, it's nice to have you know, a stable access point for them other than crawling up on the back end of the boat. So we'll make our way around to the side. We'll show you some of the accent lighting and uh, get back to the rear end of the boat. Okay, so as you can see, we have the gunmetal flake as our main panel color. We did yellow accents on the top and bottom the two-tone accent on the tower to match the tower to the boat and uh, our, our moto metal wheels also have the yellow accents to tie the whole package in together i love the accent lighting that super has on the side of the boat some blue leds in the windshield frame as well as in the logo on the outside of the tower as we make our way to the back end you can see on this trailer we've added the transom step helps getting onto the back end of the boat and uh, back here, this is where the magic happens, our swell surf plate and our wake plate in the center here. So we've made it to the transom of the boat now, and uh, I really enjoy the way Supra has set up the back end of the boat. Uh, a lot of companies are putting padded seats here on the back, little storage bins. Supra has incorporated a trunk for surfboards. Uh, surfing is all the craze these days and surfboards can get a little bit difficult to store. So we can get two to three boards in this back compartment depending on the size and shape and size of fins. Uh, for getting ready to ride, it's a perfect bench to sit on. We got some cup holders on either side. So if you're just hanging out float and having a good time somewhere for your cold beverage. Backup camera right here in the grab handle. The backup camera will show you what's behind the boat when the boat goes into neutral or reverse. We also have a button on the steering wheel where we can activate that camera anytime. We've also optioned this boat with the additional tower camera and the tower camera will just give us another view of what's behind the boat. So we've just come off the swim step here. We have a nice solid place to stand and walk. Uh, a lot of people stand all over the cushions these days and it's just a lot of wear and tear on the boat. So we got a nice fiberglass step here with the non-skid on top of it. We do have a pop-up ski pylon. A lot of these wakeboard and surf boats these days are getting rid of the ski pylon. Uh, Supra is a very skiable boat with empty ballast and wake plate all the way down and your speed up. So uh, a decent boat that you can go do a little bit of everything behind. They are starting to incorporate a lot more of the non-skid. So we have non-skid on the gunnels, little step area here. So as people are stepping off the dock onto the boat, they're not stepping on a gel coated surface. Hopefully they're not stepping on your upholstery as well. As we come down inside the boat, you can see we have a lot of accent lighting. The blue accent lighting is standard through Supra boats. A lot of companies upcharge for that and Supra fills it. Hey, if we're gonna build you a really cool boat, we're gonna give you some cool lighting to go with it. So we have speaker panel lighting, we have tower lighting both on the front and the back of the tower speakers, LED lights on the outside of the tower, little accent in our windshield frame, and a lot of accent lighting across the floor of the boat as well. So along with the LED lighting that Supra includes in the boat, um, we have a table on our rear flip seat here. They realize that even though this is a serious wakeboard or wake surf boat, there's a lot of hangout time as well. So we have a nice table, got some non-skid on the table, some cup holders on it, and this also folds up to become rear, more rear-facing seating. Rear-facing seating, when you have a light load in the boat, everybody wants to see the action. So we have seat back here, trash can storage back inside there, our pop-up seat, and an additional pop-up seat here. So a lot of rear facing seating so that everybody in the boat gets a good view of the action. So here's a little better shot of the storage compartment. Our trash can tucks down in the bottom here. 
It's got a nice little holder to keep it in place so you don't have stuff all over. Uh, a little bit of storage back in here, I've found that's really good for boat bumpers, the tall stuff that uh, can be a little bit difficult to store. We got drop-in cooler right there. And then on the opposite side, flip this up, we got a big deep storage compartment additional bag cooler here that you can pull out real easy and you can see that we have access to our battery switch right there. So we'll give you a quick shot of the observer seat storage here. You can see a nice deep compartment. We have our JL Audio amps on the amp board there with circuit breakers, dual batteries right here, all hooked up to our onboard charger. So keeping your batteries maintained is nice and easy through the winter season. So before we check out the dash, I just want to show you the bow. Um, again, you can see the sheer depth of this boat. It's a nice deep bow. I can sit here comfortably, legs straight, nice grab handle here, and a lot of room up here, whether it be for a bunch of kids or a couple adults that just want to hang out in the front of the boat and get some sun. We have our filler cushion that'll pop out. So if you need extra room for ice chest or people or whatever you need, pop the filler cushion out. We have access to storage here, gets you back into that observer seat storage compartment and a small storage space here where you can hang, I like to hang some uh, bottles of cleaners and things like that from the little webbing there. So we're going to fire up the dash system here, give it a second to boot, and we'll run through some of the uh, features of the dash. Uh, this is our home page here. One thing that I really like about the Supra Boats is you don't have to do everything from the dash. We can control things from the switches or from the dash. If you turn it on on the dash, you can turn it off from the switch. So some people feel like it's a little redundant. I like it because you're not always on the dash all day. There's a lot of things that you can do quick and easy here without having to be all over the touch screen. So again, this is our home page. We have a, little, a lot of little touch areas here where we can turn on other features without having to go into a whole separate page. So this is our surf system. We got river mode here, so if you're going with the current or against the current, we can adjust our GPS speed control for that. Our camera view, there's camera one, which is up on the tower, and then we have camera two, which is on the transom of the boat right above the swim step. And I can turn that on both from the dash or from the steering wheel here, as you noticed. So if we go back to our home screen, uh, auto wake, uh, the auto wake is a really cool system that Supra has come up with. It actually allows us to see how the boat is positioned in the water. And we can fine tune our surf wave or our wakeboard wakes based off what angles we want the boat to achieve. So this, this is showing our pitch, which is our bow height. Seven and a half pitch is what we're set at. We are currently at negative 0.8 because the bow is down. Uh, our roll. We are set at zero, so this would be a wakeboard setting. You don't want the boat rolling left or right at all. And our actual setting is 0.8, so we're slightly leaning on the trailer a bit. And close that up. We have our GPS page here, uh, stereo page. The Supra system has a what uh, JL calls an ice unit that they built into the dash system. So we don't have an external head unit anywhere. Everything is built into the dash. We have all our Bluetooth features. We have um, our zone control there. We have user settings where we can actually set audio profiles. So we have a couple here that are already set up and we have three custom ones where we can set the levels of each set of speakers where we want it. So a pretty cool feature there. Our rider settings, uh, we have a number of rider settings that are pre-programmed and then you can obviously program more or adjust the stuff that is in here already. Along with our rider profiles, we also have driver profiles. So I can set my seat height, I can set screen colors, once I activate that, it's going to move my seat up. It's going to tr change our screen accent colors to whatever we had set there. We can also program it with the winter mode where our boat heater is on and our driver seat heater is on. So some pretty cool stuff for the driver features. Our LED lights, we have a lot of lights on the boat as we mentioned earlier. Everything can be controlled here. You'll notice as I start pushing these buttons, the switches start lighting up as well to tell me which features are on and which are not. And then I can run through here and turn them all off, or I can do it back through here if I wanted to. 
So obviously one of our most important features of any boat is the ballast system. Uh, the SA450 is running 3,500 pounds of factory ballast. We have subfloor hard tanks that flood into bags and uh, if you want to upgrade your bags to bigger bags you definitely can but uh, definitely feel like it's not needed. This boat has an amazing surf wave, incredible surf wake. This is the same model boat that uh, Supra is pulling the Pro Wakeboard and Pro Surf Tour with. So um, the fact that uh, the best riders in the world are riding behind this model boat, that, that says enough for the size of the wake. Uh, our ballast screen here will show you this is our bow section here and we have our left and our right. It will give you a count on all three sections and a total count as well. Uh, give you another shot, our full auto wake page here. So this gives us a full view of the auto wake system, shows our bow pitch on the left side and our roll left and right on the right side. One thing that I really like is with this gauge up the center here. Supra has added a depth sensor so that they know how deep the boat is being pushed down into the water. As the boat gets pushed deeper into the water, our wake number here will go from the lowest all the way up to the maximum. So that's gonna give you a good idea of what kind of wakeboard wake you're gonna have or how big of a surf wave you have. If we're running down here in the 400 range, we'll get a surf wave, but it's not gonna be nearly as good as if we can force the boat down even more and get that up to a thousand. Another cool feature is the wake amplitude. After our auto wake angle is set, if we have a big guy surfing and he needs a lot of push and the next person to surf is a kid, we don't necessarily want to change everything about the wave, but we obviously don't need it as big for a small child as we do a big guy. So we can actually back the amplitude down from 100% down to any level, and it will keep the same angle in the water, but we will drop enough ballast to make the wave a little bit smaller so it's not as difficult for a beginner to learn how to surf on. Uh, another favorite feature of mine with the Supra boats is the fact that anything you need to do while pulling a rider can really be done right here in your hands at the steering wheel. We have stereo controls on the left side here. On the right side, we have our camera view, our swell surf on and off, switching from left to right and our zero off speed control. To adjust the speed, we can use this lever here to bump the speed up or down. And we also have a lever on this side for our wake plate. Favorite feature about the wake plate lever is we got a lot of crazy tubers on our local lake. And if you're pulling a rider and a boat comes across you and you have to battle through their roller, you push that plate all the way down, the bow drops, you'll plow right through the rollers. Once you're through it, you pick the plate back up, the boat will reset itself, give you the nice peak to the wake that your rider's looking for. So very easy to do things on the fly with this boat where it's right in your hands and you're not poking on the dash or trying to find which screen that particular feature option is on. So about the only thing we haven't covered yet is the stereo in this boat. Super runs the JL Audio Stereo. We have six of the M-Series speakers in the boat, four back here in the main part of the boat, two up in the bow, we have our two dash tweeters on either side, and then we've optioned this boat with the four 8.8 .8 tower speakers. And most importantly, what's a boat without a power plant? This boat is the 450 series. It's running the Raptor Inmar 6.2 liter 440 motor. This boat is also available with the 400 motor and the Roush Supercharge 575. So that's, uh, the gist of it, let's uh, put this tower down real quick and we'll go hook up and head out to the lake for some surfing. Let's roll. Okay, tower's down, we're gonna grab some boards and go hit the water. Let's roll. Okay, so we're out on the water 
and uh, we're gonna get ready to do some surfing. There's a couple ways we can fill our ballast. We can touch the ballast screen here. We can touch this button here. Either way will take us back to that ballast page. We can drain all, stop all, or fill all. We can also go through our rider profiles here and let's pick a rider profile. We're gonna wakeboard and um, speed. Uh, that looks like a beginner setting. So let's go to a wakeboard advanced setting if we got one, there we go. 22.8, smart plate, uh, pitch at seven and a half with zero roll. So we're gonna go ahead and activate that profile. Okay, so as you can see, our ballast is filling up. It's gonna give us a count on each tank. So right now on the left, we got 120 pounds, 110 on the right, and uh, currently 96 in the front. So we're gonna fill up ballast. As soon as we're full, we're gonna activate our auto wake surf setting, and uh, we're gonna get some barrels rolling. So stay tuned, check it out. So we got our auto wake page up here. As you can see, our actual pitch is at 0.9. 1.0 it's just slightly bow high our set position is 7.5 our actual roll is 0.8 to the right just leaning slight to the right our set position is currently at zero because we are in a wakeboard mode we're gonna surf real quick so what we're gonna do we're gonna go into our rider profiles and we're gonna activate this surf setting our speed is 10.4 our smart plate is all the way up to give us as much curl as we can get our pitch is at 8 our roll is at 4 degrees to the right and our amplitude's at 100, so we want the biggest wave we can get out here right now. So we're gonna activate that. If we go back to our auto wake page, you can see that it's currently draining out some ballast out of the left side. It knows that we wanna achieve a, a four degree roll to the right, and with the weight we have in the boat right now, we need to lighten up the left side a little bit. Our weight gauge here, you can see that we are sitting roughly at about 450 on a scale of a thousand. So our wake is not gonna be nearly as big as we can get it if we were in a deep lake with a lot more weight in the boat, but this gives you an idea of where your wave is gonna be for the day. So we're gonna idle over to our deep strip in the lake, which unfortunately right now is only about eight and a half to nine feet, but uh, we're gonna get a surf wave rolling and show you what it's all about. So we've uh, been filling some ballast with our auto wake setting on, you can see this side is turned green. We're currently at a 2.0, 2.2. So once we get up and moving, we will achieve that four degree roll to the right. We've also turned green on our pitch at 0.5. Once we take off, we're gonna hit that set point at 8.0 on the pitch degree. Our wake number has stayed right around 500. So we have roughly 50% of the wave that we're gonna have if we were in a deeper lake with more capacity in the boat. So we are gonna get Keith in the water real quick and uh, we'll get the surf wave rolling and show you what it's all about.
So there it is, the 2018 Supra SA450. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was informative for you. If you have any other questions, please call me at 661-327-5711 or you can email me steve at gaileysmarine.com. Hope to see you in the store and if we don't see you in the store, we'll see you out on the water. Thank you so much.